Hey guys, Hillary here from my so-called home. Since I already shared what I'm giving my husband for Christmas, I thought I'd also share what we're giving the girls for Christmas. Um, I'll start with Lara because really I wasn't gonna buy her anything to be perfectly honest. She's only nine months old and she doesn't need anything. But I came across something really cute so I thought, you know what, I'll get it for her. So the only thing that I got for Lara is this sort of like collectible bell ornament. It's from a brand called Toll, and they've been making these as the 37th edition. It's monogrammed with Christmas 2016, and they do a special like imprinting in the metal every single year, like a different pattern. And this year it was a bow, so I thought that was really cute. Lara's middle name is Bell, Lara Bell. So I thought that was the perfect thing to get for her, and that's the only thing she's getting this year. For Evie, let me start with stocking stuffers because it's just a bunch of random stuff. So the first thing she got is a little candy cane, of course. We got her the Starburst Jelly Beans. She actually picked this out. I also got her sort of like a vintage yo-yo. I got this at Marshall's. It's not actually vintage, but she has a thing with yo-yos. I don't know. She keeps asking about wanting one, so I figured I would get one for her. I'm sure she won't know how to use it, but we can play it with her and show her how it's done. And I'm sure it won't last very long, but it was cheap enough. I also found this Peppa Pig Micro Light. I honestly don't even know what this is, but it's some sort of Peppa Pig toy that lights up. So I figured, throw that in a stocking. At Target, I picked up two of these play packs. I love to have these in my purse for if we're like at a restaurant or somewhere where she needs to sit and be quiet. These are perfect to pull out. They have crayons and stickers. So I got Despicable Me and Shopkins. She knows nothing about Shopkins, but I figured she would have fun playing with that. Despicable Me, she has seen. Uh, she saw the Minions movie and thinks it's hilarious, as do I. Also from the Target uh, one spot, I got a set of Finding Dory tattoos. Again, she's never seen the movie, but she just loves all these characters and we've listened to the books on tape, so I thought she'd have fun with that. From a thrift store, I showed this in a haul. I got a little Thomas the Train, um, an actual like wooden one. This is the Winter Wonderland Thomas and he's got the snow plow and he's covered in snow. So these things, you guys, if you know Thomas, can be very expensive, 10 to $15. And I paid just about $1.25 for him. And lastly, I'm going to curl this up and stick it in her stocking, just a Curious George coloring book. She loves to color and craft right now, which I love and I want to encourage, so I just got her a fresh coloring book. Also along the lines of coloring, these are her actual gifts that we'll wrap and put under the tree. I got her some Mr. Sketch scented markers. I have very fond memories of these specific scents. Uh, that brought me back to my childhood, so I thought I would encourage her um, her artistic abilities again with those. And then also, I got both of these at um, Five Below. So this is a Melissa and Doug sketch pad. It's, um, what, 50 sheets of just plain blank paper. I thought that this would be a good idea because it's bound, she can draw in it, and then it's all contained instead of having just like a bunch of pieces of paper around the house like we kind of do now. Um, and then I kind of feel bad if I throw them away, but she'd make so many creations, I can't keep them all. So I figured if she had something bound, she could just fill this whole thing up with her, you know, creations, and then they'll all be contained in one spot. We got her a book. We got her Alexander and the Wind-Up Mouse by Leo Leone. We absolutely love this um, author and we have so many books by him and we've taken books out of the library. She's listened to the books on tape. So she doesn't own um, Alexander and the Wind-Up Mouse. So I thought I'd get that for her. We also ordered from Amazon a set of four wind-up mice that she can wind up and they'll like, you know, scurry around the house. So I haven't gotten those yet, but we'll hopefully get it before Christmas and I can combine it with this gift and she can have her own wind-up mouse, which is another thing that she had been asking for. She said she wanted a wind-up squeaky mouse, so I don't think that these squeak, but they certainly will wind up and scatter around the house. Evie is also into planes, which she's never seen the movie again. It's just like she loves these characters. My mom has the book of planes and she reads it to Evie and Evie asks for it every single time she goes there. So she has like Dusty and one other plane. So my husband got her two more little planes figurines, Bulldog and I don't know, whoever this guy is. I have no idea, but I'm sure Evie will know. And lastly, you guys saw this in also my thrift haul. I wanted to get this game for her and I absolutely lucked out. I found it at the thrift store for 50 cents. The game of perfection. This is an awesome thing for her to practice picking up the pieces and putting them in. Even if she does, you know, she could do the timer or not do it timed. Just putting all the pieces in place is a really good skill for her to be able to do. And then being able to do it timed even, you know, is even better. So for 50 cents, had to get that one and put it under the tree. 
So that is everything we got the girls this year. Um, very simple. They are so, so blessed to have family and friends that love them and we'll be giving them gifts as well. So we just wanted to keep it nice and simple, nice and affordable, uh, not go too crazy because we have lots of other exciting things going on right now. So that is everything that they got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye. Thank you.